Greetings! Chris here with another breezy tutorial for the community. So, we got a question, and the question was how can I show my last three blog posts on the front page of my website? And that's pretty simple. In Brizzy, you have uh, the carousel. Just drag and drop it on your website, and here you are. We have um, now the carousel here. Um, if you just want to show the latest three, um, make sure it is set to columns three, and then delete the ones you don't need. So right now we have three um, uh, three parts, so we are able to show our last three th uh, things. Now there's one huge problem. Right now we can design each of them individually, so we have to set them to dynamic content, and that's pretty simple. You just click here uh, on the on the gray arrow, and then on the database icon, and we switch dynamic content on. Uh, we have to delete the additional thing again and now if I'm going to change something on, on one of the elements I'm showing it to you I'm dragging a, an icon in and you see it appears on all three at the same time so um, what we now do is I'm clicking here in the image click on uh, the icon where I can choose my image uh, but now I'm going to click this database icon again and now I'm setting it to featured image. You see the icon of the images changed so I'm now just showing uh, the feature image from my blog post. Um, same goes with my text. I'm adding here. I'm, I'm using the hashtag and now I get all options I can use for my page. So I'm going here for post title. I want to have that in the middle, nice and centered. So we are going to design it a little bit larger. That's a little bit too large. Okay, um, as a heading three, it looks nice. You can also change um, the, the HTML tag so it fits into your um, page structure, for example, I'm, I'm choosing H3 here right now because uh, let's set um, a heading here, um, latest blog posts, and this would be, for example, a heading 2. So we have here a heading 2 introducing the next section and the only uh, the, the post titles are getting a heading three so um, Google exactly knows okay this is the start of the section and this is the content <clears throat> so right now we have the post title let's add another text um, for example I want to show when <clears throat> The, the blog post was written, so I'm choosing post date. And last but not least, I'm going to add some text. That's that. Um, <clears throat> so, um, and finally, we want people to be able to click on it and go to our, um, our blog post. So uh, we have the button section here, I'm going to link, and here again I'm, I'm clicking on this database icon, and there I choose post URL. So right now if we publish this, Brizzy will check what are the latest blog posts, add all the structured information we just added, and <clears throat> we'll link the button to the, uh, the the blog post we are going to present right now. So let's take a look. There we go. These are my latest blog posts. Works. So, um, but what if you don't want to have the button? Pretty simple, just delete it. And right here in the, in the blue arrow, 
click on that and there you also can choose the link. We are again choosing post URL, updating the site, looking at here. So now we have no button but we can click anywhere and we are getting transported to the latest blog post. <clears throat> so in that way uh, you can add more, uh, the, the latest three for example, um, blog posts to your website. So if you want to have uh, yeah, nice, but, but what if I want four? Simple. Um, just hit the gray arrow on the, on the carousel, hit the first icon. Um, columns, choose four. Four. And just duplicate the latest part. Click on update. And when we refresh here, you see now we have four. So it's pretty simple, uh, pretty easy. Uh, if I'm going to duplicate again, we have now five blog posts here and you see there you get the dots and the arrows for the, for the naviga navigation. And if I'm going to update again, let's refresh the page. Okay, good. I, right now I don't have much more. Um, <clears throat> but if I would have more blog posts on my, on my demo page, um, you would see more. So that's that. Um, when you're here in the dynamic content part, you also can choose what categories you want to show. For example, let's go to Game Rage, <clears throat> filtered by the title. You can uh, decide if it's um, upwards or declining. Right now, I want the date. Going down and hit update. There you go. And um, right now, I just have two blog posts in the in these uh, category game rage. And you see what's really nice. Um, Brizzy centers them, so you don't have them sitting just on the left side. So it looks odd. Um, what you can't do right now, I hope um, it's, it's going to change. Uh, right now I just can choose one of these um, categories, at least as far as I know. Let's try it. If I'm using, no. Um, right now you can just pick one category from here and then it's going to show this category. Um, so if you want some more, you have to fiddle around a little bit currently with your um, categories. So for example, you make one category where every blog post gets in and a second category where you just want to show um, specific topic related blog posts and then you can choose this here. I hope in the future we get um, the, the option to set, uh, for example, a hook. And then I can say, okay, good, let's check here, review and rage, for example, and choose more than just one category. But for right now, it's just one category you can show, and now you know how.